hello guys and welcome back so in the last lecture you saw we created our car movement script and now we can control our car movement but as you can see our camera is not following our car and if our car moves outside the screen we can't see it so let's create a camera follower script so before we create our camera follower script let's adjust our camera so let's try to center our car so what we can do is we can just adjust our z value so let's move it here so let it be minus 25 and let's y to be up little bit so let's it be 40 okay so in scripts folder right click and create a new c sharp script and name it camera follow now select our main camera and drag the script on it and just double click on it to open it in visual studio so now we want the reference of our player so that our camera can follow it so create a new private game object variable and call it player now in start we will get out our player game object so type player is equal to game object dot find object with tag and it should be object and not objects and in bracket we pass string player and the player must be same as it is in here select your car game object and change its tag to player and this player must be same as this one now in update we type if player is equal to null so let's say uh, we don't get reference to our player in a start method then we should try to get reference in update so just copy the above code and paste it in the update method and then we will return let's create our movement logic so create a new movement method in it we create a float and call it pose x and we want it to be same as player x position so we type player dot transform dot position dot x and a float position or pose z and here we don't want our position z as our player's position in fact we want our position z of our camera to be little back that means you can see here in main camera it is minus 25 and our car z is 0 so we want our camera z position to be 25 less than our player z position so we will say player dot transform dot position dot z minus 25 and we set our transform so transform dot position is equal to new vector 3 our x will be pose x our y will be same as transform that will be transform dot position dot y and our z will be pose z now we will just copy this and put it in update method now remember whenever you ask your camera to follow any game object so never do that thing in update method uh, because update method is same for all game objects and what happens is you can get some let's say some glitchy effects in your game so if I try to play it and you can see here so right now it is moving perfectly fine but it sometimes gives some glitch effect so always use late update so what late update does is when the frame is rendered after that it will call these methods so that there won't be any glitch effects so now if we go back and let's increase our car speed 
so select our car and let's increase the speed to let's say 50 and let's click on play and you can see our player is now moving very fast so guys we have created our camera follow script and our camera is perfectly following our player so thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next lecture